Um, I'm Nishrit Pandey and I'm a freshman in material science and engineering and I'm from Kathmandu, Nepal. Uh, Nepal recently has been hit by a 7.8 Richter earthquake which is of a very high magnitude and it has killed over 8,000 people and injured over 14,000 more and caused a collapse of many buildings, many ancient structures and created a mass destruction. So um, Nepal is situated in a very big fault line. So uh, Nepal is situated uh, in between China and India. So it sep Nepal separates the Indian subcontinent plate and the Eurasia plate. That's how the Himalayas rose. And it's in a very big uh, fault line for earthquakes to happen. Ne Nepal is a very beautiful country with a lot of mountains and forests. There are a lot of religious sites for Hindus and Buddhists. Uh, full of ancient temples that date back to um, thousands of years ago. Uh, my close connections uh, are okay, but I do know people who have lost lives. My parents uh, for a few days had to stay outside just as a precaution for, uh, for aftershocks so that they won't get hurt inside. And they created those community camps and tents in the nearby park with 200 other people and created a food, uh, food and drink sharing network and, and created the support for those who have been injured. The whole, uh, the capital city Kathmandu was going through a full reconstruction already and so the reconstruction has been halted and all the all the religious sites, all the beautiful places have, that I grew up with are now down to the rubble. It has changed so much over a year and now going back I had a lot of plans over the summer. I see my friends, my family. We are going to travel a lot. My friend was actually going home and he had to cancel his ticket. It has affected us as a community. It has affected us personally. Uh, this earthquake definitely has put a mark in our lives, but I do hope that things do get better and I do know that uh, this will get better because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. We have about 23 international students from Nepal here. Uh, we have connected each other, contacted each other's families, and supported uh, supported those who may have those whose family members or friends have been have been hurt. And we have and recently we uh, as a team, uh, as the all the Nepali students along with the student association organized a candlelight vigil as a prayer to uh, prayer to the victims of the earthquake. And also, we have started a fundraising camp. We recently carried out a fundraising campaign, and there are a number of aid agencies that which you can find basically with just a Google search. And CN websites like CNN and BBC all have provided like comprehensive list of places where you can donate. I'm actually going back on Saturday. I'll be working as an earthquake engineering intern over the summer in this um, earthquake, uh, earthquake engineering relief center I, and I'll be working with construction materials as a relief worker. I have mixed feelings about going back because I don't want it all to be real.